Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be doing, well I'm going to a uh, football game tonight at our local high school. Sorry about this, back here. It's really bright, it looks stupid, but I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial for a fun, sporty, girly look. What? So I'm going to be using the Revlon Color Stay 12 Hour Eyeshadow Palette in 09 Sterling Red with the Quad, and these are really cheap, but they're in their really nice shadows. So it starts out with a champagne color right here, or right here. Then it goes to a pinky color, then a gray, and then like a black charcoal color. It's almost gray, like a dark gray. And we're not going to be using all of these colors, but I'll tell you which ones I'm using. So we're just going to be using a sponge applicator. This is just a cheap drugstore fun thing. And ignore my hand. Well, we're going to start out with the champagne color as a base. And I'm not using any primer right now. And it's a very pretty champagne color. are really red lately because of allergies, so. This is a great base and highlight color. But the champagne color is gorgeous. Um, next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting the gray. We're going to be getting it on the tip of our applicator. You might want to get a stronger um, tip applicator because that one's kind of flimsy. It has, this one has kind of a point to it. And we're going to apply that right above the lash line. Kind of working it in as an eyeliner, but not exactly like an eyeliner. Just to give this, just to kind of smoke it out. Next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be using our, using the champagne color again. We're going to be using it as a highlight. So we're going to use it right up here. anything to my eyebrows. I mean, I'm 12, or I'm about to be 13 September, but I don't need to. I mean, most kids my age don't, but a couple of them do, actually. And we're just going to basically rub this all the way to the eyebrow. And this will be a really pretty highlight color, and also at the tip of your cheekbones, which is right here. Easy to look And last thing, or the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the gray, the light and the dark gray. And we're going to kind of rub it into the waterline. And only to the waterline. And maybe not even that much. Then you're going to want to blend it in. We're actually going to use our champagne color to blend it in. So now that it's blended in on each side, we're going to add our mascara. I'm using a steel letter mascara. I have a little bottle. And see how it gets smaller in towards the middle, or in towards the top, and then it gets bigger? Just 
will create more layers to your eyes. Oh my god. And this stuff makes your lashes so long. So we're gonna get we always want to get the chunks off because brushes that look like this always tend to get the chunks at the very top and you really want to get all this off. Um, what to go to like a baseball game like? Um, I hope this actually helps you um, with this voice like next time you go to a game, and it really brings out your eye shape. Well, it brings out mine. I have an almond shape eye, and an almond shape eye is when it um, gets like pointed in the out, and then it starts to curve in, and you know what an almond looks. So, you want to rub in this way. If you do, rub your eyes um, to get that off, get the extra mascara off. You always want to rub this way because you can, um, if you rub this way, you, you have veins right in here, and you can pop one, and it will look, it will be terrible. So, I'm not doing anything with my cheeks. I mean, this is a big video, but see how um, the eyeshadow that we applied, like eyeliner really um, brings out the point in my eye right here. Well that's a trick you can do. And for your hair, just wear it up in a bun or something. I just kind of stick this in. It's like, like about 1 o'clock. I'm bored going at like 6. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Bye.